Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be setting up Microsoft Outlook 2010 with our Gmail account. Alright, so, let's get started. So, first, go to Google Chrome and open up Gmail. Next, go click the gear icon over here and click see all settings. Next, click forwarding and pop slash IMAP. Click enable IMAP and enable pop. Click what? save changes. Next, go to Google and click security. Next, scroll down and turn on two step verification. It's required for this process. Next, click app passwords. Next, Sign in to your Google account. And generate an app password. Copy your app password. Now we are ready to now we're ready to uh so now we're ready to set up yeah we're so uh well now we're ready to set up like our setting up we're ready to set up the google account so i i i i i, I oh my gosh that took me so long to say I don't know how that took. Okay, let's get started anyway. So click manually configure server settings or additional server types. Click internet email. Put in my, your name and the email address associated with it. Click IMAP. Put your incoming mail server as imap.gmail.com and put outgoing mail server saying smtp.gmail.com. For your username, it's your email address without the at gmail at .com. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to type in your Google account. No, not your Google account. You're going to paste what you just copied earlier into there. Next, click more settings. Oh, yeah, next, click more settings. Click advanced. Click, put in the, now, put in out incoming mile IMAP server 99 uh, as the uh, port 993. Then for outgoing mobile server, we need TLS, and we're going to use port. 587 using TLS. Next, go to outgoing server and click My Outgoing Server SMTP Requires Authentication. Click Use Same Settings as My uh, Incoming Mail Server. Then click OK. Now, uncheck, uh, uncheck this and click Test Account Settings to make sure it works. Now, wait for it to work. Wait for it. And now it's successfully completed. Now, uncheck this. And click next. Now you have your IMAP account set up, and now it's going to locally install all your stuff. Now let's get started. Let's get started with uh your pop account. So you're gonna go back and click add account again, and you're gonna do the same thing except it's different. Click manually configure server settings again. Internet email. Then leave this on pop three. Leave this on pop three. Then type in in again. Next for incoming mail server, put in pop dot gmail dot com. Pop dot gmail dot com. Next, outgoing mail server, smtp.gmail.com. Username, same username is this without the at gmail.com. Put in your copy and pasted password again. 
uncheck this, click test account. Oh, wait, I forgot to do something. Ah, what am I doing? Oof. More settings, go to advanced, put in, you know, the 995, and put in 587 as the latest and greatest port. TLS, remove messages from the server. Then go click outgoing server. My outgoing server SMTP requires authentication. Use the same setting as my incoming mail server. Then click OK. Click test account settings. Wait for it to complete. Make sure you got fully green check marks. Click next. And you're finished. And uh, there you go. You have now just set up your your account. Uh, leave any questions in the comments if you have problems. Anyway, bye.